Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Uh, back to farming. Sam's in Westminster. Farmers aren't very happy, generally speaking. Sam, can you see more light at the end of this particular tunnel than perhaps they can? Because obviously calling from Westminster, you're unlikely to be on a tractor at the moment. Uh, I'm not, although I have thought about saving up for a cabbage patch in Regent's Park. But that's, <laughs> Get, that's on with it. It, really. Get on with it. I'm not going to say Brexit is going to revolutionise farming, and I don't think, you know, there's no clear replacement for the CAP, but I think there are some silver linings if we look at competition. Uh, if we look at the environment and also the land prices in uh, in agricultural in agricultural land, I mean, if you look at the the average profit made by by a farm uh, purely off its agricultural activities, that's just six thousand two hundred pounds. Um, so I think removing CAP support is not going to be good news for a lot of farmers. Um, some will fail. Who will it be good farm. news for? Which ones do you think it will be good news for? So it'll be good news for farmers that are willing to innovate and 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 invest more in their own growth. I mean, a lot of people uh, there, are getting... there. You know that a farmer listening to this is going to insist that you describe what those words mean. How so? As well, as innovate, as innovate is well, about as vague a word as and either of us could come up with in a hundred years, isn't it? That's a fair point. But getting better agricultural equipment, you know, paying for for better equipment to, to get higher yields or, or better crops. My farming expert, myself, clearly, um, because it's not going to help the hill farmers much, is it? No, but I think if you look at the average profit being made by a farm, you know, there's clearly something wrong there. If, if it's on agricultural activities around £6,200, there needs to be more competition in, um, in farming. That, that's, that's my view on the competition. Competition between farm. whom? Between the farmers in the UK. And, and I think in, in other how do you How do you increase competition between farmers in the UK? Because if you reduce the CAP support... Then oh, I, I see. So some of them will go bust, and that's a good thing. Well, it's a good thing because, I mean... So <laughs> you... No prizes for guessing which party you support, Sam. Let them go bust. And that's a good I'm, thing I'm, uh, for, for the overall sector and, and the country. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Labour supporter. No, you're not. Who's, who's against Brexit, but... Um, no, you're not. not. Let the farmers no. go bust. No, no, look, look I think... Um, I think, first of all, they, they've got some things to celebrate. I mean, if you look at the prices of, of uh, farmland, that's gone up from 4,500 per hectare to 16,500 since um, 2003. So there's not too much to lose. Also, if you get rid of CAP... So is it going to go, go up or down, that, that, the price of farmland? After, well, presumably, I mean, it, it would go down a bit because, I mean, a lot of people... So imagine, again, you know, so, you're so it's good sport, news you, you because, because some farmers will go bust and all farms will be worth less money. You're going to struggle to sell this to the farmers. You might be able to sell it to me if I was still asleep, <laughs> but you're going to struggle to sell it to the farmers, aren't you? Your, your yeah, land's going to be worth less and some of you are going to go bust because, mm, competition. But if you look at the average profit being made on agricultural activities by, by you know, your average farm, I think there is a problem there, is there not? In that well, figure? I, quite possibly, but I'm, I'm asking what's good news for farmers today, and I'm not sure that your farm's going to be worth less and some of you are going to go bust. Could be filed under that category by anybody honest, could it, Sam? Well, that's, com that's the laws of competition, isn't it? So the farmers that are, that, are, that are innovating more and spending more on their own growth rather than, you know, some of them will be having a farm because they get DAP support, yeah. less inheritance tax to pay. So you would reject the, you, there, you, you'd reject the idea that this is much worse news for the richest landowners than it is for the poorest ones? I don't think it's necessarily about that. I think it's Well, about, who's got the know, most money to spend on new equipment and new, new innovations? The poor ones or the rich ones? Well, the ones that are rich presumably are rich for a reason, right? If they're rich well, in James farming. Dyson's case, it's because he sells a lot of hoovers, mate. Yeah, that's true, and that's yeah. And the I Duke mean, of Westminster remind me of his farming pedigree that explains why his fortune is uh, is so. Um, no, you're right, and there, there will be some examples of, of very wealthy people who have, have been able to sort of like enter the farming. But I don't think there are. Well, no, they're, 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 they're the two biggest. I think they're the two the two biggest they in are, the country, yeah. aren't they? Would I be right in thinking you have the same surname as um, the current Brexit negotiator? <laughs> you might be, yeah. And you used to work with no Jacob relation. Rees Mogg? Not quite. <laughs> did, did, no did you tell him you were a Labour supporter who was opposed to Brexit, Sam Frost? At the young age of 24, that would be quite. No, no but did you, though? Uh, no. He did, but, did he know you were a Labour supporter who was opposed to Brexit when you worked on Mogmentum? I think you might have been mistaken for someone else. I could be wrong. Okay. It's 11.25, and Dan's in North Somerset. Dan, what would you like to say?